So what's up fam? How you guys doing today? We're gonna do something a little different today. We're not gonna play the normal, uh, the usual traditional Call of Duty. I was thinking of like uh, playing this new game, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. I heard a lot of things about it and I, I just wanna see and I want to just like want you to experience this. My, my first gameplay with you guys and my, my reactions to it. Literally, I'm definitely a diehard Call of Duty fan. I don't think there is any other game that has like built for me. Uh, I've played GTA before. Uh, usually I just like it once a year I do buy game one or two here and there but I make sure that they are first, first, first person shooter. I had really heard a lot of hype about Ghost of Tsushima so let's see how it goes. Before I play I'm gonna dim some lights to bring that vibe in there. So I'll be back. I think that's enough. Alright here we go. Alright this is the big name. Mongol Empire is invading our home. They are brutal. Is it me or like I can't I can't hear the sounds. Stop it, bro. We are 80 samurais. Against an enemy, okay. Fighting to slow the invasion. Yeah, let me just see, I think something's wrong. I die for my people. There must be thousands of them. We will face death and defend our home. Tradition. Courage. Honor. They are what make us. We are the warriors of Tsushima. Let's go! Nogadachi. Go break their spirits. Here we go. Hey! Gonna slaughter. Slaughter them. Outsiders, send your finest warrior to face me. Nada, Jinnida. I am Haru Nobuadachi, descendant of the legendary Yoshi Nobuadachi. That's quite disrespectful. Oh my. These graphics, holy shit. Jeez. Look like missiles. That's the main character. Brutal. Where did you with me? Okay. We've lost so many. We have to keep pushing Lord Sakai. 
even if it costs us our lives. As a command, Lord Shimura. Okay, what is this dude doing? Probably looking at some some control. We must hunt down the Mongol leader. Everyone this reminds me of the uh, the movie 300. Gerard Butler, oh, Scottish oh, talent man. Oh, Holy cow, that looks that looks all freaking cool. His blade is just like going through their bodies and it's like freaking slaughter. Look at the size of the the other person with the with these horns on his head. My friend has a lot of blood. Where all that's left? There is only one path for us. Find the Mongol leader and end it here. I'll fight beside you to the end. I know. Damn. Is it? Like, is this pre-story basically, or that looks like a Genghis Khan to me? Probably like that's why they call they're calling it Mongolians. Samurai's War. I am Kotan, cousin of Kublai, grandson of Genghis. Yep, Jenkins. Yep. Brother, you are a warrior. I can see that. You trained your whole life for this. And you have won battles that lesser men have called unwinnable, yes. But while you were sharpening your sword, you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I know your language, your traditions, your beliefs, which villages to tame and which to burn. So I'll ask you once again, Samurai. 
Do you surrender? Holy f cow. Dude, the freaking graphics are absolutely insane. Like, no joke. The graphics are absolutely insane. I think it's just like... It's, everything's like so... Live. It feels like so, everything's like so alive. And the leaves, the environment, the water, the wind. It just brings everything to life. And you just want to... You just want to. I really, I really, I really, I really, I really, I really wish. I really wish. Someone worked I had this game, so I could like literally play in my hands. Dude, like it's it's so peaceful. Like staying there, like just like looking and just listening to the sounds. I think I think it has taken the elements of probably like um, Assassin's Creed, like Far Cry. We can also compare it, compare it to that because it's like an open world. The graphics are absolutely freaking insane. This is literally the first opening scenes and everything the the, the actual cinematics of the of the game itself. Wow. But I think if I if I actually had a game I would like just play in Japanese like the the actual traditional way um, of playing the game instead of like just changing the audio because there's like a bit of like thing that I'm I'm noticing is the, the lip sync is like widely mismatched throughout the scenario here and the facial expression just not mirror uh, the emotion of the voice so I'm like excited to see the next part of that so for now this is SSG over and out.